Welcome to Toy Poloi. No Legos were harmed in the making of this video. Hello and welcome to another video from Toy Ploy and today we're going to be taking a look at restoring and repairing a vintage Masters of the Universe Webster. Well mainly we're going to be looking at his backpack because really that is the thing that is most often broken on this figure. Now the figure has a unique uh, mechanical mechanism on the back of him that enables you to pull a piece of string and he will rise up along the piece of string using a little pulley system that's in here in the back of uh, his back piece. Uh, but if the string has been removed then there's not much you can do with it uh, and that is really what we're going to look at today a way of repairing and replacing the string in this backpack so that we can get webstore moving but let's first up take a look at how it should work so here we have a webster that is working and you can see on his backpack we have a hook and then there's a piece of string that goes inside his backpack and then another long piece of string with a little tab on the end of it and if we pull the string all the way out of this webster so we get him sort of towards the bottom of it. If I pull hard on this bottom piece of string, you can see that Webster rises up using the magical pulley system that is inside. And it's really quite a clever little system. So if we look here, I can pull him along and we can move him back. I'll do that again, just so you can see. So there's my hand, I will pull this and he rises up the string. And it, it really is quite a nice sort of little gimmicky feature. But if the string breaks and comes out of this, then that feature no longer works and that is a real shame because that is the main selling point on this figure. The rest of the figure doesn't do a great deal. He's got an orange blaster, that's about it. So let's look at the backpack and we'll see what we can do to fix this. So here I have two backpacks. This is the one that I intend to fix and this is the one without the string on it. And I happen to pick up another one where the back section had been broken off. And the reason I picked this up is it's quite useful to see how the uh, piece is constructed before I try and open it. Because I have to say, I have never opened one of these. This is is going to be the first time I'm opening it on camera. So this gives us a good idea of how it is stuck and sort of pieced together. You can see there are little pegs in the corners, not in that bottom right hand corner, and there must be a little bit of glue all the way around this seam. So what we need to do is crack that glue so that uh, the back panel will pop off. And really the only way we're going to be able to do that is a bit of brute force. So I'm going to uh, get a knife. I think I'm going to go for a sort of smallish knife and just see if I can jam it in a sort of crack around the edge of this and see if we can start to sort of to sort of just push it open. I have a feeling it's going to be quite hard work. It may end up being that I take this out into the garage and just give it a gentle tap with a hammer and that may be enough to uh, crack the plastic. But we'll try with a knife first just to see what happens. I'm going to be particularly careful because I don't want to cut myself here. Yeah, it doesn't feel like there's much give in that, so I think it might be the hammer technique is what we need to do. Much like if you've seen my video on uh, splitting open a, a battle armor Skeletor, uh, that just required a gentle tap and that did seem to crack uh, the glue quite nicely. I think this might be the same sort of technique. Just give it a little... Yeah, no, there's nothing, nothing much give in there, so uh, let's take this out into my garage and we'll give it a gentle tap with a hammer and we'll see what happens. Well that turned out to be easier than I'd expected it to be. I used to have a large flat chisel and a rubber mallet just to uh, sort of put the chisel along the uh, join line and gently tap it. I tapped on one side, turned it over, tapped on the other side and as you saw the end result is that this back panel is now free and you can take it off. There are two tiny little metal uh, sort of runners. This is where the string goes through so make sure not to lose those. Those are the bits that are liable to sort of fly away so we just put those to one side and now we can see in the back of it we have this section of pulley. There's a few little bits of plastic. These are the bits that have cracked off 
the edge when I've uh, hit it with the uh, hammer there but that's all right we can just move those out of the way and we can see this is the pulley so that is the bit that does all the work and it looks incredibly simple all we've got to do is work out how it works because uh, I really have no idea I'm going to have a little play and put some bits of string in this and see if I can work out how this mechanism is supposed to work a little bit of messing around I've managed to work out how this pulley system works and it's a little bit fiddly mainly because you've got to get the string through some pretty awkward tiny little holes in this uh, pulley uh, but it can be done and really the first thing you need to do is find a good replacement string now I have here some of the original stuff here this is a very sort of fine black string this was what was in the uh, Webster backpack that I took apart but, um, because this was all knotted up and sort of cut so I took this out and I've used this as a guide and I have found a replacement which is this stuff you can see that's a very good match and what it is is embroidery thread so I've been down to my local sort of uh, fabric and haberdashery store and I've picked this up it's called DMC 310 number 8 so there are the details there and it cost me well £2.40 I think there's about 50 meters here and this is pretty much a perfect match for the original threads so I'm going to be using this so if you need to uh, re-thread your web store I would uh, recommend going and trying to find some of this stuff because it's cheap and uh, very useful and I think you can use it for a lot of other toy fixes I'm going to keep this in my toolbox so now let's get on with threading this new thread into the pulley system and getting the pulley system back in the backpack and working the first job is probably the trickiest which is you've got to thread into that hole that's inside the pulley and make sure that the thread comes out the inside there. I've done this off camera a couple of times, but it's still very tricky. Okay, just about done. You can just about see the thread there. Then you can take your tweezers, you need to grab the end of that and you can pull it through. There you go, that's the hard part done. Now we've got to thread this back through the other hole. You can see right next to where it comes through there's another hole going straight through to the top and we've got to thread this back into that tweezers are a must on this one not the easiest thing to do i actually do have a paper clip here because sometimes these holes get a bit blocked as well so if you just sort of wiggle a paper clip through. You can unblock the hole if there's anything in it. We'll try that again. So I say this is a little bit of an awkward job. It can be done. So and again, wetting the thread at the end. So let me just lick that. May help. Let's try that one more time. I think I've done it this time. Yes, there we go. So that is through that side. The, that is probably the worst part of this whole project is getting that through but you can now see so I've got a bit of thread that goes in the hole that's in the middle of the pulley sort of the side part of the pulley and then comes out the top section now we've got the thread all the way through to the top it doesn't actually need to come out of that top hole what it needs to do is come out of this side hole so you can get your tweezers again just carefully grab into the side there and then pull this section out just do that like so so we now have the thread that goes inside the uh, larger pulley up and then outside the smaller pulley uh, without going through that top hole and that is exactly how you need it uh, so that we can get the uh, pulley system to work before we go any further we're actually going to tie the little end tab back onto this string and before you do that you have to insert one of these tiny little uh, brass or sort of metal uh, runners that go into the backpack if you forget to do this then you have to take it apart again so we're just going to thread that onto this end and uh, the end that this is going onto, because I'm going to be adding the tiny little tab is the bit that comes out of the bigger side of the pulley so you've got to remember it's this side that we're tying that on because that is the side you pull from uh, the other end needs to have the hook on it uh, so I'm just going to tie this on just so that nothing can fall off and I don't start losing pieces so I'll thread that through there and just do a couple of knots and then we can start winding the string onto the pulley system and we'll get that working as well to make my life a little bit easier I've just stuck uh, the back section of the backpack onto my uh, cutting mat here with a little bit of blue tack so it doesn't move around and I have it so that the top of the backpack is to the left and the bottom of the backpack is to the right because you need to know which way round these goes because that's how the pulley fits in. For winding the string there is a specific way you have to wind it so we're going to take the right hand side which is onto the larger uh, pulley and we're going to go round the back and over the top 
around the back and over the top and we've got to do this sort of 10 to 13 times until there's a good amount of thread on that pulley and then on the smaller pulley we want to go the opposite direction so we're going to go from the front round to the back and over the top just do that a couple of times so if I now put this pulley onto the backpack and we can sort of do a quick test I'm just going to put that little runner in the correct place like so I should then be able to pull this string well, that runner's not going to stay but that's all right I should be able to pull this string and we can see that the pulley is pulling the other one along and the threads are going in so I think that's uh, hopeful that everything is going to work so I'm just going to do a quick test fit of this really I'm going to put the other runner on the end of the string and we'll get that in place like so and then I can just stick this backpack piece on I'm just going to put a bit of tape around that and then we can just test that it's actually going to work as you can see I've just wrapped a little bit of tape around this just to hold it all together so I can test it works so here's the bottom end of the string I'm just going to hold the top end of the string here and if I pull this bottom end we should see the backpack rise up which it does and then we can drop it down and we'll do that again so I think that is the correct way that everything needs to be uh, sort of put in place on this pulley so we can now go ahead and glue it all back together so if I remove this tape and I'm going to just use my bit of blue tack again just to hold on the worktop I can then get some glue in that and we'll actually finally stick this together as far as gluing goes I'm just going to use some super glue and I'm going to dab it onto the areas where it was glued originally so there's just three little tabs one there and I'm not going to put a great deal of glue on because I don't want any glue to sort of get into the main mechanism uh, that would be disastrous I'll put one more bit of glue there I don't think you really need a huge amount of glue to hold this all together it's not going to be under that much pressure so which way around do we go that's the top that's the bottom so we just push that together and the great thing with super glue is it goes off really nice and quickly and any runoff that you've got you can just sort of wipe away I'm just going to get a little cotton bud here just wipe that excess glue away we'll let that glue and then uh, I can tie on the hook to this end and we'll give it a full test the glue has now had time to set and as you can see I've tied on the hook to the other end this is not a particularly uh, sort of minty looking hook but it still works and there's no point in uh, trying to replace it it's been very chewed but it does do the job let's try this again so I can just uh, pull this backpack and you can see it moves up and down the string so I think the only real way to test this backpack properly is to take uh, him out into the real world so I'm going to put this backpack back onto a Webster figure and we'll try him out in my garden and see uh, how well it all works And as you can see it really did work very well it's uh, back to how it should have been working when you originally bought Webster back in the 80s uh, it's not the easiest of fixes certainly because uh, cracking open the backpack is, it feels a little bit risky it's exactly the same as I felt when I was working on the Skeletor hitting something with a hammer to break it open always feels a bit nasty but as you can see you can actually get this to work again and once you've re-threaded this string uh, it does work very nicely I need to say a massive thank you to uh, Jim Didham's Anthony Williams and Bryn Smith who all helped me out with uh, parts for this project uh, and it's uh, with the help of my followers and subscribers that uh, I managed to get so many sort of new things to work on so uh, thanks to everybody who helps me out on all the projects that I show on this channel and I hope this video has been of interest to you and thanks for watching thanks for watching toy ploy subscribe for more great videos you can also follow toy ploy on Twitter Facebook and Instagram